Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see another brand new video. As you can tell, this is going to be some extreme cleaning motivation. I mean, I felt like every room I went in was just trash. Nobody in my house had been picking up after themselves. I know you guys can relate out there. And I literally just needed to pick everything up, wipe everything down, because I really, really wanted to decorate for Christmas. I know that sounds ridiculous, but that was my motivation on this night. I felt like I could not get any of my Christmas decor out until I first picked up everything, wiped everything down, got everything back to its nice cleanliness, and then took down all my fall. So you'll see me actually take down my fall in this as well. So I hope this gives you guys some extreme cleaning motivation because every room was messy. Every room, including my kitchen, which I did not get to on this night because I was just exhausted and it was too intimidating. My dishwasher broke and oh my gosh, y'all, I am not a good hand washer of dishes. Um, something about my OCD, it's really, really hard for me. I feel like I'm not getting them clean enough and it's just super intimidating. So hopefully cross your fingers, it will be fixed tomorrow. But yeah, so that room I could not get to, but I did do the rest of the house. And you'll see I added in some fun things. I actually made our thankful tree and different things like that. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see what I'm talking about with that. And I will try to be quiet and let you guys enjoy this motivation. Don't forget to turn those bell notifications on and subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family. Let me know where you guys are from and where you're watching from. I would love to get to know you guys in the comments, not just to be a subscriber, but to really get to know you all as friends. I wanted to pop on really quick and let you guys know that what I'm basically doing with all this fall decor is I am just basically taking it all down, putting it into basically a huge pile, and then going to put it all away in a plastic um, tote that I keep all of my Thanksgiving, Halloween, Easter stuff in that is very, very full as you can tell. I end up leaving that stuff on the back of the table because it is new stuff that I got 
from Target just recently and it's actually Christmas decor so I will link that video if you guys haven't seen it. It's a really fun shop with me and haul so I show you guys kind of what I got and it was just a really fun day actually. And this was so funny because I don't know if I've ever shown this angle in my house. So yes, that is my new tree. I thought I needed more than one tree this year. I don't know why. But um, those sconces were like super dusty and I did not realize it and I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh my gosh. And then the candles were like wiggling a lot. So I got up there and kind of melted the bottom um, with a lighter and then stuck them in there and so the wax being melted kind of made it stay basically and for a second there you'll see that I actually lit them and that's basically I let the wax run down a little bit so it created more of a seal in the bottom so then the candles would stop falling over. This other thing that I'm doing is something I don't know if every homeschool mom does this or how people really keep track of things but for us this has been the best thing I usually write the date and then I usually write a list out of all the subjects we have to do that day because we alternate especially history and science we alternate back and forth every day so um, I give them a list of things that need to be done I also put like piano on this list <laughs> Um, and a lot of times I put any chores or any like reminders like we needed to pick a new book to read for language arts So I put that reminder down and just different things like that So that is just something in a way that I do every night to keep us organized And I probably should have my kid do it, but it's just kind of a fun thing and I thought I would include it So let me tell you about this crazy tote. I did end up like repacking it and taking everything out and actually like wrapping it in the paper but y'all it was so late at night and I just wanted to kind of get it in there enough that I could just leave it and have my husband um, take it like kind of out of the way so that's why you'll see I'm just kind of like putting things in there and I'm using the paper and other things to kind of wrap things and make sure they don't get broken but I did end up going back and like re-wrapping everything. Um, my husband was a marine for a long time so when we moved around they come and pack up your stuff and they put tons of paper in all of your stuff. So like half of this tote is just paper I swear y'all and a lot of my holiday decor has been like that because if you have room in anything they'll just put a ton of paper on top to um, I guess pack it so it doesn't move around which is really good but then when you move again they just end up putting more paper and more paper and so this tote is probably one of the worst and so I actually had to kind of like clean it out it looks really good now but y'all it was crazy tell you guys what I'm doing. I'm actually making a thankful tree. Um, we celebrate Thanksgiving um, because uh, we live in America and this is something that we've been doing since my kid was I want to say about five. Somebody had told me about it and I really wanted to do it and basically it's just this paper tree that I make on my wall and I cut out paper leaves and me and my son and my husband for that matter um, we all fill out the leaves and write things that we're thankful for on the leaves and put it on the paper tree. Now I know that sounds ridiculous, but 
it has been a really fun tradition that we've been doing for like five years now and I'm all about our tradition and so my son um, was really excited the next morning when he got up and saw that the tree was already made. Sometimes he helps you make the tree, sometimes I just do it while he's asleep like now. I usually have always done the leaves and cut those out, kind of watched a movie and um, traced them and cut them out and then the next day we end up uh, putting the leaves on the tree and I mean painters tape goes a long way and it's perfect. And this is just one of those really fun traditions. I mean, he's only little once, and yeah, he's getting bigger, but oh my gosh, it turned out so cute this year. And then today in school, we're gonna put all the leaves on and it's gonna look wonderful, and we're gonna be reminded of what we're thankful for this year. So this is how everything turned out, guys. Isn't it amazing? Oh my gosh, I feel so much better, and look at, Oh, I just love after shots because my house was trashed and it looks so much nicer. Getting your house clean make you feel as good as it does me because oh my gosh this is amazing. So thank you guys so much for coming over. Thank you um, for hanging out and hanging on this long and checking out all of this great cleaning motivation because I love to see how everything turned out and I love an overview and not a lot of times in cleaning videos you do get that overview of how everything turned out so I hope you guys enjoy this I hope this gave you much needed motivation and I will see you in my next brand new video bye for now